hello guys welcome to another tutorial today we will be completing our installation for the nginx proxy manager in the last video we installed nginx proxy manager on our ubuntu 22.04 in this video we're going to go ahead and complete that setup by changing our admin password we're going to go over the nginx proxy manager so as part of this video before we start you need three things so you're going to need your nginx manager and you're going to need a website or a service that you may want to proxy using the nginx proxy manager and then you're going to need a dns name or a domain name for example gigtogether.com or something else of your choice since i already own gigtogether.com lastly you're going to need to have a dns manager such as cloudflare or bluehost or something like godaddy so without wasting any much time we're going to head straight into this video so to begin the first thing we're going to do is change our administrator password so we're going to head over to admin and we're going to select the change password option your default password is change me and now you're going to give your admin user a password that is secure once that's done you want to hit the save button and now we were able to change our administrator's user's password. The next thing we want to do is change the default email to a valid email address that you use. So we're going to change this to admin gigtogether.com. And once we do that, we're going to hit the save button and then we are good to go. So once that's complete, before we head over and start proxying our host using Nginx Proxy Manager, the first thing we want to do is do a brief overview of our Nginx Proxy Manager admin console. So if you head over to the top of the page, you see we have some options here. We have the dashboard, host, access list, SSL certificates, users, audit log, and settings. So the dashboard just presents you with the number of proxy hosts that you may have, redirection hosts, streams, and 404 hosts. The next option you get are the different kind of hosts that Nginx Proxy Manager has, or you can create within Nginx Proxy Manager. A proxy host is the incoming endpoint for a web service that you want to forward. The next thing we're going to talk about is the host option. The host option, if you click on that, you're presented with four options. You have the proxy host. A proxy host is the incoming endpoint for a web service that you may want to forward. It provides an optional SSL termination for your service that might not have an SSL support built in. So the proxy hosts are the most common hosts used within the Nginx proxy manager. The next type of host you can create with Nginx Proxy Manager are called redirection host. A redirection host will redirect requests from an incoming domain and push them to another domain. For example, you can redirect geektogether.com to google.com. So every time someone types geektogether.com in their browser, the Nginx Proxy Manager is going to redirect them to google.com. The next kind of host we have here is a stream host or streams. Stream hosts are a relatively new feature with Nginx and a stream would serve to forward TCP and UDP traffic directly to another computer on your network. For example, if you're running game servers, FTP or SSH servers. The next thing we're going to talk about here is the 404 host. The 404 hosts are just what they are. 404 http um, error message if you've ever heard of those this can be useful when your domain is listed in search engines and you want to provide a nicer error page so you can configure a nicer error page within your environment and then you can set that within the nginx proxy manager to redirect all the 404 errors to that specific host in your network the next thing we're going to talk about is access list in Engine X Proxy Manager, access lists provide a blacklist or whitelist of specific client IP addresses along with a basic HTTP proxy authentication. So what you can do is you can set an access list and block every IP address from being able to access that specific domain or you can require password or authentication using the basic HTTP 
authentication module. The next option we have for Nginx Proxy Manager is the SSL support. You can use free Let's Encrypt SSL certificates with your domain. You don't have to pay anything with them and it works straight out of the box with Nginx Proxy Manager. The next option we have is creating new users. So you can create multiple administration at, so you can create multiple administrators or administrative users and assign different options or permissions to them as you may like. The next option Nginx Proxy Manager dashboard comes with is a login system. It shows you different audit logs on different um, tasks that have been performed within the Nginx Proxy Manager admin console. And then the last option we have is the settings which you can configure things such as the default site if you want the default nginx proxy manager site to be the congratulations page so let me show you here real quick what i mean so if you see if we try to access our nginx proxy managers ip address we are presented with the default congratulations page using the settings you can change that default site to either be a 404 page when that happens no response or the user should be redirected to a specific page or if you have a custom page such as a home page or whatever you can also set that up using the custom page option now we've been able to understand our nginx proxy manager administrative console the next thing we're going to do is start creating an ssl certificate so we can start proxying our internal services so we can access them externally the first thing we're going to do is head over to SSL certificate and we're going to select the add SSL certificate option. So what we're going to do here is add a let's encrypt certificate, which is going to be a valid SSL certificate for free. The first thing you want to do is enter the domain name. In this case, we're going to name our certificate lab.geektogether.com. So once you do that, you're going to hit enter. And then, since I'm running this as a lab in my home, we're going to be using a DNS challenge to verify and get our Let's Encrypt certificate. So we're going to check the use a DNS challenge option, and you're going to check the agree to the Let's Encrypt terms of service. So in my case, my DNS provider is Cloudflare, so I can go in here and I'll select Cloudflare. If you use something else like Doc DNS or Digital Ocean, you can select that as well and follow the prompts. So when you select Cloudflare, you're going to be presented with the credential files content. The only thing you need to change here is the string. You need to replace this with your Cloudflare API. And I'll show you how to create an API with Cloudflare to be able to use with Let's Encrypt. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to log into my Cloudflare management console. So once you log into your Cloudflare DNS management console, you want to head over to overview and over to the right side, you want to select the option, get your API token. Once you select that option, you're going to be presented with um, user or already created API tokens. You're going to have to create a new one if you don't already have one that you can use. So I'm just going to create a new one for these purposes. You're going to use or select the use template option. And we want to give it the permission to edit our DNS records. So since I have multiple DNS zones, I'm going to select Geek Together. If you have just one DNS zone, you select that. And then all we need to do is hit the continue to summary. And then we're going to create a token. Note, it is very important that you copy and store the DNS zone API somewhere safe because you can only get this one time. So if I exit this page, I'm unable to retrieve this token. Another thing you want to make sure is set your SSL slash TLS encryption mode to full. So now that that has been copied, I'm going to head over back to our Nginx proxy manager and I'm going to paste that token in here. So once we have that pasted, we're going to hit save and this might take some time, but the Nginx proxy manager is getting ready and it is creating us our free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate.
So once that's complete, we can see that now we have a certificate called lab.geektogether.com. So we're going to create another SSL certificate. So now you can see I have two certificates generated. I also generated a wildcard certificate because I want to use a wildcard certificate for everything, unlike creating a single certificate that is tied to a subdomain. So to create a wildcard certificate, all you need to do is go to add SSL and you select let's encrypt. And you want to do the same for wildcard. You want to do an asterisk and then dot your domain name. And then you want to press enter. So that's going to be a wildcard certificate that you can create and it is going to work for any subdomain that is tied to your domain name. So once that's complete, yes, we're going to use the DNS challenge again and then you're going to use Cloudflare or your DNS provider. And you also want to make the changes to um, add the API token, agree, and then hit save. So now that I have those two certificates, created the next thing we're going to do is head over and create our first host so i'm going to add a new proxy host and what we want to do is start by entering our domain name so in this case we want this host to respond to lab.geektogether.com and we want to set the scheme to https and then we're going to enter the ip address of our router which is our internal ip address And then we're going to do the port. So what this does is uh, Nginx is going to listen for um, lab.geektogether.com and it's going to take that and route it or forward it to the host name or IP address 10.100.20.254 using port 443. You can use port 80 for your service, but my router uses the port 443 just with a self-signed certificate. So if your service you're trying to proxy uses AD or some other custom port, make sure you change this to correspond to that port. I highly recommend you use the block common exploits because this will help secure your Nginx proxy manager from common um, web exploits. And you also want to turn on the cache assets and web socket support. And then we're going to head over to SSL and we'll select our certificate. In this case, we use the wildcard certificate. We want to force SSL. We want to enable HSTS and HSTS for the subdomains and HTTP2. And once you do that, you're going to save that. And now if we head over to a new browser and if we type our lab.geektogether.com, you can see that we are presented with the logon screen of our Unify OS. If you click on the SSL certificate, you can see we have a valid wildcard certificate. So thank you for watching this video about the Nginx Proxy Manager. I hope we were able to help you install and configure your first host in Nginx Proxy Manager. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hey guys, I just want to take this time and introduce you to our Geek Together Hub. Our Geek Together Hub community includes a forum where you can ask questions by creating new posts about questions or doubts that you may face while setting up different services such as Nextcloud, Apache Guacamole, or any other systems that you may be learning how to use. In order for you to create these new questions or posts, all you need to do is head over to forums and select the new post option. Note it requires a login where to be able to log in, you can use your Gmail SSO if you already have a Gmail account or you can register using our registration option if you do not have a Gmail account. This way, you can be able to get help from our admins, moderators and other users that can help you and get you the assistance you need as soon as possible. You can also use our search option to search for keywords and similar questions that may have been answered in the past by our admins or moderators that are similar to your situation. Our Geek Together Hub also includes a chat option where you can chat with our admins or moderators and get help instantly when you need them. Please, I highly encourage you to join our community and use it to ask your questions and make comments or share your experiences on the different kind of systems that you are learning to use. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.